Hey everybody, Scott Tetwiller here with a Capture One tip in two minutes or less. Uh, today we're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts. You can edit those by going up to edit, edit keyboard shortcuts. By default, you'll be showing the Capture One default keyboard layout and you cannot alter this. However, if you click the plus sign, you can create your own keyboard by giving it a name. If you want to transfer those to another uh, laptop or computer, all of your keyboard shortcuts are stored in the app data local Capture One custom commands folder. And here will be the keyboard layout you have. And here's the default Capture One keyboard layout. So you can copy those to the machine you would like to. Inside of the Capture One keyboard layout, you can search by either the command or the key. For example, command, one of the ones I like to change is if you go move, I have set up as P. This is the same as Lightroom, uh, as pick, but in Capture One, obviously there's no such thing as a pick. It moves it to the select folder. X, which is the reject, moves it to the session trash. One of the keys I like to remap is the tilde key on the top of the keyboard near escape. On my machine, I have that set to the viewer. That means I can do this quick and easy. Another one I changed almost immediately was the process command default control D. If you are a Photoshop user and you use control A to select everything, control D will deselect everything. Inside of Capture One, control D is process all images that are selected, which turns into a nightmare. So I have not bound any key to process because normally if I'm working here, I'm next to the process button, which is very purposeful. I have also remapped all the keys on my keypad to be the colors of my workflow. I've also remapped the period key to clear all of the colors. That covers most of the major changes I made to the keyboard shortcuts that are default in Capture One to help me increase my efficiency in my workflow. You should take a look through all of the menus in here and find the commands that you feel you're going to use more often and bind them to common keys instead of obscure keys you may not use. This is part of a new series. We're gonna try and do very quick Capture One tips and tricks in two minutes or less. Take care and everybody stay safe.